Hi guys, um, welcome to another Gundam review. Today I'll be reviewing the RX-70... <laughs> the RX-70... Uh, RX-78-2 Gundam from the G... Uh, or Generation Zero or GE Zero whichever you want to call it, and it's super deformed. It's special because it's number 200 in the series, and it is a Bandai kit. On the side, um, you see that it sells for 500 yen. As I've said in my other um, videos, this camera does not do well up close, so it, it does say 500 yen, which is roughly... Six seven hundred uh six uh six to seven dollars American and Canadian depending with where you live. Just some basic poses that you can use if you have no imagination. Oh and the head and the shoulders pop up. This is a really nice feature for this guy. Now let me just put that aside. And um yeah. So here he is. He is really nice for size um, compared to your standard Scotch tape. Um, scotch tape does you pass him a bit, but just a bit, which is uh, fine with me. I don't mind it. Now colors on this guy: you get your blue, your yellow, white, red, and uh, gray and black. So standard Gundam colors though because this is the first Gundam if I'm not mistaken and he is really nice in this form um let me just take this box quickly as you see on the sides um that's how he looks painted that's how he looks unpainted all I've done to him is Gundam lined it and they did a really good job the only spot that it isn't so nice is on the ships here and I'll show you in a second, also for the beam saber, but beam sabers on these guys usually don't come uh, with um, clear parts, so, yeah. Now, those are the colors on this guy. Um, I'm just going to do a short articulation, so let's start with the head. goes 360, which most... Um, SD models do up, down, and not, and just a bit side to side. You could say it's like none. Um, shoulders rotate. Sorry, this piece always falls. Goes up. That part goes up. Goes down. Rotates 360. Um, goes the elbow joint goes up. Back just minimally. Well. You see there that it is, it can bend a bit back. That's the articulation on his arms. Waist, if I'm not mistaken, it is full 360. Yeah, full 360. Lay, uh, feet. Whoops. Um, let's see how far we can get this. It seems like you could probably, yeah, you can get the full 360 with these feet. Just move the top part out of the way from the red. And you do get nice detailing on the bottom of these uh, of the super deformed kit, which I really like. Um, you don't get that on any of my any uh, any other of my gener uh, degenerations. Uh, I mean, uh, generation zeros. Yeah. Um, as you can see on Quinn Man, that I have don't have one. So, yeah. Um, also, he has beam sabers in his backpack, which do move, so they have articulation. Because they have a ball joint, and then they're just enclosed in this space. Um, Accessory-wise, you get your bazooka. Uh, I don't. I, it's probably just a big gun, but I like to call it a bazooka. It's in a nice um, dark gray. It's not black, but it's a really nice color. You get your gun, and you get a nice yellow piece in there. And remember, this is the unpainted version, so you do get that piece yellow, and you don't have to paint it. And for the pièce de résistance, as the French would say, um, you get your shield. And this is, 
as I said, unpainted. But what I like about it is that you don't have to paint any of this. You can Gundam line it, but how it looks right now is really nice. And you get this peg here to put it in um, his hand. So this peg can peg into the backpack. It has a little peg there. It'll peg into um, that hole there. Here, I'll just quickly demonstrate. That is pegged in. Um, and if you take this off, it has two uh, positions it can go in, which is really nice. Um, for the little fighter that you get with him, he's it's super small. It has blue and red, and if you remember what I said in the beginning, how it's not being very detailed, here's what you get, and here's what they show on the box. So you don't get your white, your light blue, um, any of that stuff. Not even stickers, which really disappointed me, but everything else on this kiss kit I really like. So you can change this piece to this guy, and once you do so, um, you can attach the big part here. Oops, sorry. And yeah, it's nice. Now, um, the reason why I got this guy, this is why. So the reason why is because you can take this helmet, uh, these helmet pieces off. Let me just get them off safely. Okay, here I'll be off camera for a second. Take his head off. There, that'll give me. It'll be easier. There we go. One, two. Okay. And what? You, all you want to do is you'll take these in, like that. And I'll just peg this back in. lift the shoulder armor up and there you have what you what they show on the um, box now this one doesn't want to stay up compared to this guy um probably just the model I got if the if you guys got the same problem it could be just the gun them I'm not too sure because I don't have two of these um, but if you see on the cover, that's the pose you get right there. And it is really nice, let me say that. You get so much detail for an SD. Um, yeah, it's, it's really nice for an SD kit. Um, I'll have um, this guy posted. I keep saying I'm going to do a Transformer review. I am. I, I'm just putting it off. I don't know why. I'll probably have it up right after this guy. Once this review is up, that Transformer review is going to be up. I'm certain about that. That's going to happen. Yeah. Um, for this guy, I'm probably going to keep him in this mode. Because this is the mode that you buy him for pretty much. If you're like me and you want a kind of cool Gundam. Uh, the, I have an unboxing video. So go check that out on my channel. I'll probably put a link in the description. And yeah. Uh... I'll see you guys next time. I can't. All I can say about this Gundam is he's a. He's like my favorite SD model I have. Except for Unicorn Gundam and the custom one I made. And those are the Gundams I have. Uh, like SDs. But the reason why I like this guy so much is because he is the original Gundam and can't complain with him. Um, actually, yeah, he is my favorite SD Gundam. He's just perfect on my standards. And, uh, in this note, uh, I'm get, probably gonna get Full Armor 7th Gundam, um, and two other guys, I can't, their name escapes me. Um, I'll probably put a little update video on that, uh, and yeah, um, I'll, I'm getting them for my birthday probably, if I change my mind I'll do an update, but the... A uh, full armor seventh guy. He, I remember his names, and that's probably the guy I'm gonna get for sure. But except for that, um, I'm not too sh too sure which guys. But yeah, um, I'll see you guys next time in the next video.